back. Thank you. How are you? Works fine. Oh, and um, thank you for sending me the cupcake. It's it's really sweet of you to remember. Yeah, um, I had a great birthday. Really fun. I will make a wish. I promise. I love you too. Bye. Sorry, I know I just dropped the bombshell, but I've learned that in the long run it's better to just get it out in the open right away. If you don't mind my asking, how? My first boyfriend had AIDS. We didn't know in the beginning and we just got swept away. I contracted HIV, was diagnosed early. Stone wasn't so lucky. He died. I'm sorry. It was devastating. Losing Stone, having to start all over, HIV positive. But, you know, just like with anything, you make the adjustment and you learn how to live your new life. I'm on a drug regimen that works for me. My viral load is undetectable. I was one of the fortunate ones, so I try not to lose sight of that. That's a remarkable attitude. <laughs> I don't know about all that. I just think I'm too stubborn to let this disease define me. Mm. But even so, HIV complicates potential relationships, and right now I would just rather put that energy into my work. I hope we can still be friends. Of course, I'd love to. In the spirit of that friendship, allow me to make an observation. Do I have a choice? I think your reluctance to get out in the dating world is about another kind of survival. What does that mean? Perhaps your position stems less from being HIV positive and more uh, from the effects of a broken heart. <laughs> well, why would you say that? It's been my experience that when someone throws themselves into their work, takes up a position and hides there, they usually running from something now you're young and beautiful and not interested in me so i assume there must be another man in your heart well it's a good thing that you became a surgeon and not a shrink you couldn't be more wrong i happen to be fascinated by my work i mean that's what keeps me going the hope that someday someone who's been written off as permanently brain damaged will be helped or even cured by my research when i first decided to study medicine Mm -hmm. I considered becoming a surgeon. The risk of my infecting a patient with HIV is almost non-existent. But it would always be a consideration, and I thought it might undermine my patient's faith, so I opted for pathology and clinical research instead. So why aren't you specializing in HIV and AIDS? I thought about it, but the fact that I have the virus might color my judgment and make me too eager to see results. Mm. So you chose brain injuries and memory loss instead. Mm -hmm. Any particular reason? Someone I cared about suffered permanent brain damage in a car accident. And uh, it made me curious to see how drug regimens can affect the brain, how information and memories believe lost might be recovered. Maybe deep down you're hoping to find a cure for your friend? <laughs> Trust me. This person has no interest in being cured. He, uh, he likes his life just the way it is.